Okay. Okay. No, we're just calling to order the Board of Health at 531. On, Do you want a copy uh, of your I, Yeah, I've got one here. Okay. Uh, on August 16th, 2017. Uh, for discussion, uh, the acceptance of minutes of the previous meetings. Uh, I have gone over the ones from July the 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they look acceptable to me. The only thing that I would like to add is the executive session minutes. We are required to have minutes for executive session. Two things. Um, those minutes were actually turned in to the town clerk already as per her request. Those have to be okay. minutes that are kept separate. Um, so there's a form that we filled out. Um, at your um, request, she may release them to you, and okay. we may review them and vote on them. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there was really nothing confidential, so if I don't think that that, that that's fine, we can do that. So we did that okay. because, according to the town clerk, they have to be kept separate. Okay. So we should probably keep everything on the mm -hmm. up and up. Okay. So um, she has those, and at your. I guess when, when you request them, she'll give them to you. Okay. And then when do they get released? How does that work? Uh, Laura said that that would be up to the board to mm -hmm. decide when you review your minutes, you can vote on them, and then you decide. Okay. And she can probably give you the particulars. That's just the general guideline I have. Okay. It's the same with the minutes that are from our executive session on the the eighth. Eighth. Oh, okay. Those are also um, right, right right at the town clerk's office. Okay, yep. And those you can also request. Okay. Um, I did have some corrections. Um, anywhere it says DA, it should be Attorney General, AG. So that was my um, mistake. It's really the Attorney General's office. Okay. So mm -hmm. I have that. Um, I don't know if you want me to give you all the paragraphs, darling. I can, I can go through, I think. Okay. okay. Okay, that, that looked fine with me then, with the... Mm -hmm. Did you no. Any motion to accept the minutes of July 19th? I make a motion to accept the minutes of uh, Board of Health July 19th. Any second? Second. Uh, motion to accept the minutes of July 19th, 2017. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Zero. Three zero. Uh, approved. Uh, an acceptance of the minutes of August 8th. Uh, I was not at that meeting, so I will not be voting on that. So we'll just uh, review these yeah. quickly, because I'm sure. sorry I have not gotten mm -hmm. this. Yep. If you'd like, we can put off approving it. That's uh, Could we, so you we, can look at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Can, okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll put off approving that mm -hmm. until our next meeting. Uh, let's see, next on the agenda is the chair report. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the, the most important thing I have to report was the uh, meningitis issue that was, uh, let's see, July 22nd. Uh, I received a communication from the town manager about a possible meningitis outbreak case from a town employee. Uh, I immediately notified the uh, Department of Public Health uh, and I was in contact with the epidemiologist there. Uh, I was pretty much in contact with the town manager throughout the whole weekend. I was at work at the time, so uh, I was trying to get back and forth as much as I could. Uh, Monday morning I did get, uh, I did meet with, mm -hmm. let's see, it was town manager, John Doherty, the town facilities manager, uh, Laura, and uh, let's see, the, the town nurse, uh, just to discuss what we, what our plan was for a response. Who's the town nurse? She's uh, the community nurse? Is well, it's the, the school nurse. The, school. The, school, yeah, the school, school nurse, okay. Lynn Dunn? Yes, it was Lynn Dunn, yes, school nurse, sorry. Uh, 
and we sat around for maybe a half an hour or so just trying to decide what we were going to do. I got a few, I needed some information. There was no food preparation at the high school. Mm -hmm. uh, the employee had been in the schools. Uh, I guess he's an electrician, so he had been in the schools. Oh, okay. Had some contact with people. Uh, okay. There was, that was a concern for the schools as well. Yes, okay. yes. Uh, there was no mm -hmm. uh, food preparation at the school, so that was not really an issue. And the school wasn't in session? Uh, the school was not in session, correct. Okay. And when did we find out it was viral and not bacterial? Mm -hmm. Well, that was, uh, <laughs> I tried to, I was in communication with the North Shore Medical Center uh, to try to get a diagnosis. That right. was uh, all Monday after our meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, they would not speak with me. Right. I spoke with a VP there to mm -hmm. try to explain who I was. They would not speak with me, yeah. claiming HIPAA. Mm -hmm. uh, then I got back to the state epidemiologist uh, and told her the situation and she said, well, let, let me handle it. So okay. she contacted this okay. and it, at first they wouldn't even speak with her. Uh, and then she basically told them, well, you, you, have, you, to, have, to. you have to speak right. with me. Exactly. Uh, so at the time, as of Monday, they did not have a final diagnosis. So there was nothing really to do for the time being. Uh, but it, as of the, let's see, the 26th, I got an uh, email from Bob Lelecher saying that the patient's condition had improved. Mm -hmm. uh, and as of the 31st, which Monday the 31st, the employee had returned to work. Uh, I had received no notification from the state epidemiologist, mm -hmm. uh, so I had a good feeling that it wasn't bacterial. Uh, just she said she would have gotten back to me immediately if it was, and mm -hmm. she never did. So I felt so pretty confident about that. Okay. Yeah, and as it turns out, uh, we cannot, we don't see that in Maven because we're, it's not the the employee does not live in town. And I believe the hospital has to report it to the, to the, to the town, town that, of where he resides. Wow, even, so even though he was working here, so does then, do you know if that town then has to do the reporting? I believe they do. They and I'll, I'll double do. check with Bob. I've been trying to get in touch with Bob about that, but I to believe that they the, do. The town then would be contacting Reading. Well, the town would Only be. Only if it was. Yes. Okay. It would not show up. It would not show up for us to see. Okay, gotcha. Uh, okay. But I was very comfortable when the, they did not contact me that it was not a bacterial case. Okay. So, uh, and being a viral case, it's not a public health issue, issue or right. emergency. So, right. uh, so that's I, I believe that that's pretty much resolved. I will double check in with mm -hmm. the, health, the the public health nurse that we have covering. To see if we Which have any school? fall. What was that? Uh, it's the uh, the North Reading public health nurse. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually know her. Yeah. Okay. That's her name. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't tell you, but she's a blonde that does flu clinics with me. Okay. So, um, if you told me the name, Sue. Sue. yes, I would too. If you mentioned it. Pardon? I, don't know. I think it's Sue. It might be Sue. Yes. Yeah. Sue. And what's the status then on? Um, I know that the ad is up for the position. Do you know what the status is for applicants? Uh, I have not heard anything back yet. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Well, and as far as uh, the HB 2864, I have been in contact uh, with both the uh, Senator Lewis office and Representative Jones office. Mm -hmm. They both have told me that things in August are rather slow, so mm -hmm. it is still in committee. Okay. Uh, well, I, I don't know when it's going to happen. There's no change in the status right now, so we're still waiting to hear. I did impress upon them how much we supported it, uh, but it's still in committee. Uh, Jason Lewis is the chair of that committee, mm -hmm. uh, the Public Health Committee. So he's aware of our uh, of our eagerness to see that be passed and brought to the floors. Good. Uh, one other thing I did not have a, a uh, report on, which I was hoping maybe Nancy could fill us mm -hmm. in, was yesterday. I mm -hmm. just I just got that information mm -hmm. last night uh, regarding the sewer backup. Actually, I, I would like to. Um, tell you, um, I received a call from Darlene uh, fully uh, yesterday at 4:30.
that there had been an overflowed toilet at the Cafe Nero, Nero? Nero. It's on Main Street, flowed into a downstairs dining room area at Venetian Moon, which is also Main Street. Um, supposedly, um, Laura, I'll address this to you later, had been in uh, contact with Chris the clock of the cafe. She was working with him on the issue. And uh, the pipe, once the pipe uh, sewer cleaning company left, that's John Sewers, and the cleaning company, Row Cleaning, left, he contacted Laura for the inspection so both his shop and Venetian Moon could actually reopen. And yeah. Laura actually told him she was not returning for the inspection. Um, she told him that she, quote, wasn't the health agent, so she wasn't coming back. Um, I went down, I spoke to him, I did a visual inspect of uh, both places, I received a copy of the invoice from the cleaning company which I gave to Darlene. Um, the payment and proof of John's sewer was electronic, so he's actually going to have to send the hard copy uh, to the Reading Town Hall, which I've also informed Darlene of. Um, when I did the inspection, there was no water present. Um, Chris reported a nine wash process in the affected areas, um, including a uh, hallway, he said, which was precautionary against cross-contamination. Uh, Lisa Pavlalo of Venetian Moon also gave me access to the impacted area. It was the downstairs rug area that had been affected. That had been sanitized, as was the affected ceiling tile by the cleaning company. Um, the cleaning company had left a small dryer there that was still running when I was there, but the rug was completely dry. Um, there was evidence of a water stain on the ceiling tile that had been sanitized. So I gave both owners permission to reopen and then just asked Darlene if she would please follow up with both of them, um, whoever was on today. So I, I guess <coughs> since Laura's here, we can ask what happened that you didn't return because the owner... Oh, was it public session? Yes, I did not return for the inspection because, mm -hmm. as we know, I am not appointed by the board, so I cannot do an inspection. So it's not that I told him I was not doing his inspection. I was not able to do the inspection since you did not appoint me. And it was not an overflowed toilet. It was raw sewage that had been backed up from mm -hmm. the pipes and had affected the Venetian Moon Cafe Nero, as well as the Chinese food restaurant. And I was wondering where the report on that inspection was since they opened today. I was not told any of that information, or just as was I. The, as I stated mm -hmm. to Laura in just an email, mm -hmm. I was, Jean Delios gave mm -hmm. me the information mm -hmm. that it was Cafe Nero and Venetian Moon. Mm -hmm. It was Ross Seward. She, mm -hmm. she did not mention mm -hmm. that Wong Kitchen mm -hmm. was affected. Mm -hmm. Was Wong Kitchen part of the cleanup? I, no, I, do, not, I do not know that. I don't know. I, because I wasn't aware that it was a problem. Mm -hmm. Nancy was the inspector on the case, so we would have to ask mm -hmm. Nancy. And this is the only information I have, just documented. So I guess I'm curious, since you are an inspector, what does that have to I'm do? I'm not an inspector for the town of Wright. You mm -hmm. needed to follow up on that, and you need mm -hmm. to check on the restaurant, mm -hmm. because they opened today without an inspection. Didn't you do the previous inspections to those places? You've done no inspections in Reading since you've been appointed? You have not appointed me. No, since you've been, been hired. hired. You've done no inspections you have in Reading. Have inspections. you done any inspections in Reading since I'm not hired. answering that. Oh. <laughs> I'd like to have counsel present if you want to ask me questions. Okay. I want to ask you any more questions then. Thank you. So that was the okay. issue yesterday. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. we will have to follow up on that. Yes. We'll have to. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all I have for the chair report. Is there any any other mm -hmm. issues that you're aware of? Can uh, should we address yesterday's meeting? Uh, well, that would be that's coming later in my health agent okay. section. I was thinking that we could we could keep going. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, I guess the next mm -hmm. item on the agenda is the health reports, which mm -hmm. we have a copy of from uh, Bob Racy. Uh, let's 
let's see, the, uh, the, the food protection program, the mm -hmm. uh, restaurant Parvarati, uh, we do have an ongoing issue with that. Uh, we have we have been addressing it now for a year. Mm -hmm. uh, the six months we came with the, uh, the plans that we were expecting, uh, which I guess we did have some rudimentary plans that we were shown. Uh, since then, we have now hit a deadline that we wanted the work finished by. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob has been with meeting with the owners of uh, Pavarotti. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not spoken to Bob about this since I was on vacation. Uh, he was going to have an, a memo for us with what he has uh, worked on with them. I have not seen that memo yet. Uh, we, as soon as he gets mm -hmm. back from vacation, I will ask him to hopefully <coughs> sit down. Maybe we can all sit down with him about that. Uh, I'm not quite sure where we stand right now with it because mm -hmm. he is over the deadline. Mm -hmm. I'm remembering we invited the owner of another facility in mm -hmm. to the Board of Health. Mandarin, I believe. And that might be something we might want to consider doing in this case, to have him mm -hmm. meet. Well, okay, yeah, we did have, we did have mm -hmm. the Parvarati here a year ago to and discuss to what him, we needed. Yes. Uh, maybe we should call him in again. Yes. Uh, and that would, that would I be, think Darlene would have to notify him. By mail, or what did we do with? I, I think we sent a letter. I think I Probably. think if I, Andy. I can refer back to. Yeah, I think Andy um, wrote a letter. Okay. One, one thing I have yeah. not. I, I know we were told back a year ago by the previous health agent mm -hmm. that what they had their venting system did not meet code. Okay. Uh, I am not that familiar. I haven't delved mm -hmm. into the code. Mm -hmm. uh, of what the violation is. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would like maybe an explanation of that, if Bob could give us that, mm -hmm. uh, to see what the actual code violation is. Mm -hmm. I have said, I have, uh, evidently Bob did meet with the assistant fire chief. Mm -hmm. uh, I've put a request into him to speak with him. He has not gotten back to me yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I want to speak with him also uh, to find out exactly what, what his problems are, what the mm -hmm. fire department's problems are with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that Bob may think that there is a hardship case with him fix it coming up to code. Uh, I think that's what he shared with us last time. Mm -hmm. I thought he yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, right, I'm, right. I'm yeah. not quite yes. sure how many thousands of dollars yes. that they're talking right. that, that mm -hmm. an update. I don't know if mm -hmm. the owner of the building would participate in some of that. I, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, but if it is a code that, say, he could not be grandfathered in because mm -hmm. of the expense, mm -hmm. uh, I would like to know. I would like to get at least an opinion from the, the fire department uh, mm -hmm. on that before we made any final decision. Mm -hmm. And maybe just to check in exactly what the code is that he's not meeting. I'm not sure if anyone else in town, any other departments in town, would have anything to say with that. Um, no, because it's all about health codes, even health, air quality codes, and, and you know, then fire, fire, fire department. would be about it. Okay. And then just getting the building, whatever, oh, well, building, gas building or whatever inspector. building permits uh, would need to be right. mm. part of that. And who knows when that was actually originally done and how that got signed off. It mm -hmm. may have been that the codes changed. So that's an issue. Possibly speak with the building inspector to maybe, he. I'm sure he might know the actual code also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did go down the list mm -hmm. of a lot of the rest of his inspections. Mm -hmm. uh, I did have a couple questions that we can probably speak with Bob directly when he's hopefully he'll be able to meet make one of our meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, I noticed that one of the items was complaints. He received eight complaints. 
He did not mention any of the complaints to me personally. I don't These know. These were if food he, complaints, or uh, well, no. Subs, well, it's down on subsequent subsequent visits. Uh, he did he did the a lot of the inspections. Oh, sorry. Next page, uh, yes. Down the bottom, subsequent visits, 36 food inspections, mm -hmm. camp inspections, uh, pool inspections, mm -hmm. and there's a note there that there's eight complaints. Mm -hmm. I mean, historically, I remember Steve used to go over all, all pretty much complaints. all of the complaints yep. with us. Yep. Yeah, do you know uh, what they were? Uh, just so we could be apprised of what, what was mm -hmm. going on, what the complaints were, what the magnitude of, they, of them were. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will speak with Bob and see if we can actually find out just how serious those complaints are. Uh, and what they are. And what they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think we need to do any follow-ups? Mm -hmm. And any other questions about the the health report. Are the pool, do you know if the pool inspections, because we certainly have a lot of pools, are they just um, on a rotation or when they open, do you know what? Because well, I, I believe all pools have to be, be as, as, as a schedule, I think. So it's a have, scheduling? You know, okay. I believe there's a scheduled pool. Most of these inspections are on, uh, on a cycle. schedule. Okay. Yes. If not all I'm just surprised there was only two, that's all, so I wasn't sure. We do have all them done because it's sort of the end of the summer. And also on the Title five, I see three Title mm -hmm. Five inspections. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't aware we had new, are those new constructions or maybe? It says uh, on site, so we don't know. I'm not sure if those are new, const new uh, construction or? Uh, Repeats. I don't think, Dan, I, we don't have any switch over from, se from septic to sewer in town currently, do we? I'm not aware of any. Uh, we, have, we have a lot of the people that are still on septic. Sept right. Right. Uh, probably these may have been people that have, were uh, going to abandon their septic mm -hmm. systems yeah, to go it. on to town. Oh, it's in the water and sewer. low dozens. It's mm -hmm. not very many parcels, yeah. I think. Yeah, I wouldn't be aware of this. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. Steve had given us the exact yes, number. Yes, he did. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it, is a, it is a low number. Yeah, yeah. The number. But I know it has to be certified when you do. Mm -hmm. You have to close off the, the septic when you mm -hmm. do go on town sewer. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm just not sure if these are new new construction or I don't believe I, they are, no. Do we allow new construction to be septic? I don't think so. Uh, it's strongly discouraged, mm. I think. I think the only place is maybe North Main Street, that um, right near that North Reading Line, you know, where the Matera Cabin is. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's some property there that... Um, yeah, over the hill, I know uh, there's a lot of pumps up to the main sewer. There may be one. Area. I think... Um, when Greg was here, I think back then they were looking into putting in a septic system. They had filed for yeah. some paperwork. Because we just discussed this done. It, because there's such a um, an infrequency, it wasn't really worth even right. getting his certification for it because right. there's not enough need for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. okay. And we, I mm -hmm. personally don't have. Uh, mm -hmm. access to the Reading Maven reports, so mm -hmm. I don't have a. Uh, a list of those reports in town. Uh, maybe I, I can. Maybe we can get uh, our nurse to give us that for the next meeting. To even if she emails us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I did attend when I got out of work. Uh, mm -hmm. Laura's public health forum mm -hmm. on the mosquito and ticks. Mm -hmm. It was very well attended. It was very informative. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, Laura. Yeah, thank good you. Timing. I was there too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good timing. It's quite a bit of information in that uh, that I was not aware of. So. Mm -hmm. Any other questions on the, the health reports? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. The one thing about the tobacco, uh, Darlene, you did send us um, a little update about 
those two, uh, I think the called flavor. The, uh, white owl and sweet, I, I don't have my email in front of me. White owl, uh, sweet cream. Sweet, and I looked those up and they're actually, I think the reason why they're taken off the list is because they're not actually flavored. Uh, well, that's up to us to decide. And that's what the, we, that they said we can decide. We can decide because, I, I mean, I don't know how I would, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna smoke one to figure out if it's flavored, but. Well, I went to their sites to look them up, and they're 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 saying that they're sweet, mellow tobacco. Oh. So I can't find anything, just the preliminary that mm -hmm. they've added something. But uh, that's the piece mm -hmm. we'll have to look into. Did they add something? Well, I, I didn't see it on their actual. The the way the wording sites. was 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 the council of the mm -hmm. the oh, manufacturers yeah. of those two right. products had petitioned. The mass mass board, mass health board mm -hmm. to take them off the list. Oh, right. uh, so if they, I, I guess they are taking them off the list. Mass association mm -hmm. board, okay. health boards mm -hmm. are taking that, those off the flavored list. And it's uh, up to us. It's up to us to decide whether or not right. it, it's a flavored uh, right. uh, article. Uh, if we want to take, if we want to let those be sold in our right. town or not. And that's what I'm saying is the preliminary that I did when I went to their websites, the, the actual tobacco company, I can't find anything just preliminary that they've added things like bubble gum or, mm -hmm. you know, <clears throat> cranberry apple or whatever. So that's the piece I have to follow up on. Okay. Or is it just really trying to say that they're a, a mellow tobacco, yeah. sweet mellow? I don't know. I don't know, just anything sweet seems to me like it might be flavored. But that's what I have sugar in it. Right. right. So is that's, that a flavor? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll follow up and okay. see. And yep, we'll see what, we'll yeah. see what we can do with what that. Is it white owl what? It's called uh, White Owl Green Sweets. And the game Red, um, you just Google Game Red, you get a lot of video games that come up. You oh, cool. Tobacco. Game Red, is that the name of the other yeah, one? Yeah, the other one. Okay. Is that green like in the... Eco-friendly? I don't. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Be, I'll, I'll actually um, also reach out to Maureen. She might be able to be a little bit more of a resource hmm. okay, in terms yes. of that. right. I'm yeah. sure she knows. I'm sure she's tried them or carried them around. Yeah, and she may need to know if we want to keep those on the list. And exactly, uh, so or if we're going to vote. So I'll, I'll send okay. her a quick note. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see. So next. On the agenda is the health agent. Mm -hmm. uh, gee, I may, I may have to defer to the subcommittee on our health agent here. Uh, <laughs> hi, Laura. How you doing? Uh, I, I was not able to meet, get to the last two meetings because of vacation and work. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you did have a, well, one, two executive sessions. Uh, it's got to be It sounds like it's, it has to do with the battery. It's the uh, sound system. Uh, okay. Well, there's a fan up there. Yeah. Uh, at our last meeting, we yeah. did discuss what the mm -hmm. procedure was for executive session. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, after looking at it, mm -hmm. and I was I was not satisfied that we had cause mm -hmm. to go into executive session, mm -hmm. uh, which I had tr given a message to uh, Jean to mm -hmm. get to you to you too. Uh, you, when I was on vacation, you decided that we, you did have reason to go into executive session. Your, your email was a concern because it was sent through the town manager's office, mm -hmm. and we can't deliberate mm -hmm. through email. Right, and right. So it was oh, concerning no, right. to we, get that we, even we, through the town manager. Yeah, we have not spoken about it, no. Right. That, but that even, was done so you wouldn't be deliberate. But that's still a yeah. deliberation, even if no, it's not. No, yes, you it don't is. talk. Yes, it is, because he's sending a deliberative message to us through the, he, this is the second one that's happened. So even if we don't get back to him, which we decline, it's still a breach of open meeting law. Is this the same one Nancy said she didn't get in the last meeting? I don't know. Yeah. Did you say you never got that? No. Yeah, you said you what? You did say that. I said I never heard back from John. I sent you an heard email. Back that's from not what he said. Uh, okay. I yeah, sent an we, email to everyone. About about scheduling, August, about scheduling, August scheduling, August scheduling meeting. a yes. meeting, which I don't think I did get back because right. I couldn't. So I, I couldn't. I really never heard back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but even if you. But now you're from, finding it concerning. So you find the email that you got that John couldn't come. We're not opening up. Right. Oh, okay. I'm confused because you flip flop a little. 
We're just actually talking no, about the board. No, fault. actually. Nancy so, um, um, so anyway, when you go through, even if you go through the town manager, which I, 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 as I understand, we can't deliberate in any other form other than when we're sitting here in an open meeting, even if it's through a third party. So, um, and that was the second time that was done. So I, I think that's a breach of open meeting. I'll look into that. I, yeah. I wasn't aware that it was, but all right. I mean, it's a deliberate. You're making a decent point. Right. We just really want to keep it within the board, right? right. I think for, for just purposes, and you know, I've been corrected on that. You know, mm -hmm. when I first started with with you know the town manager Bob, and and that's why I said, said we don't we don't want to do this by email. The, on, the other, do it. on the other mm -hmm. hand, um, I do think that we can. If you have a report, you can send it directly to us because if it's a report, yes. it, it doesn't have to go through anybody. Right. That's and yeah. we can schedule and mm -hmm. scheduling. Mm -hmm. So so if there's um, even that. Um, mm -hmm meningitis thing I think you sent through Gene. I don't think you I did. Well I was to. I was advised by council to send everything through mm -hmm. uh, through Gene. So yeah. I, that's yeah. even though that was technically a report right. of you what can was send going that on. To us. Uh, right. Just right. just mm -hmm. to be just to be upfront yeah. to send right. it through. Mm -hmm. But I think just because you send something through Gene doesn't mean it's not deliberative. Uh, well I think deliberation would require a response. I don't think that's. I don't know. I'll, I'll I, ask about. Yeah, that. because you have more it, experience. If it went it. one way only. It's information. If it there's a response. Right. But but it's an opinion. It's an opinion. And that's what we're not allowed. To yeah, do. we can't. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is why we I wanted to meet okay. so we could talk about it. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So the result of the meeting. I, mm -hmm. I have not, we haven't spoken at all. Right. Have you come to any conclusions or? Well, Dan um, was at our executive meeting. I was invited in. And you. I guess um, you'll have to help guide me how, what we can actually say. We're, we wanted to make a motion to meet with the selectmen, the board mm -hmm. health to meet with the selectmen. You can talk about that desire and open session, <clears throat> I think. So we would like to meet with the Board of Selectmen. Okay. In executive session, correct? I think it would have to be an executive session, wouldn't it, Dan? I don't know. Depends on the purpose of the discussion. Uh, would be the health agent and the uh, position of the Board of Health. I'd have to have more information to say whether or not it would qualify. Okay. So the meetings have not resolved the health agent issue. Well, I, I'm hoping that the Board of Selectmen could resolve that. Oh, we, we will be happy. In fact, I believe we are planning to meet with you in the near future. So that that's is, what I planning for that meeting is underway. Yes, that would actually be very helpful if, if that could be turned over to the Board of Selectmen to resolve that. Does that make mm -hmm. sense, what I'm asking? Yeah, yes, it does. Um, Okay. Okay. No, I just I was hoping that w as as you had met, mm -hmm. you may have some sort of resolution or uh, decision about what we were going to do. I in the mm -hmm. in the communication that I did send through Gene, I did uh, recommend that we it was we, we were in a precarious position without we a are, health agent. We are. We'd like to get this resolved as quickly as we can. Yes. And I was hoping that mm -hmm. maybe that the meetings that you had may have helped resolve that, uh, but evidently it's it's not resolved. I'm hoping that the Board of Selectmen could mm -hmm. resolve that issue for the Board of Health. Well, the Board well, of Health, yeah. with all due respect, mm -hmm. has the power to resolve that issue this evening. Okay. Uh, you've had a real life example yesterday of what mm -hmm. happens when you don't have a health mm -hmm. agent on the mm -hmm. spot ready to work. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bracey was on vacation, you had mm -hmm. an emergency. You did not have an appointed person in place to deal with that who was trained in that area. So I would highly recommend that mm -hmm. this board this evening mm -hmm. make the appointment of Ms. Vlasic as your health agent. So I guess my question is since we have a part-time inspector who was not available, why is Laura not doing inspections as a town employee? I will go by her answer. I'm not going to characterize the answer whether I you want to well, in, order, in, order to open, in order to open a business, she has to have our power to do that. Right. But this... And we have not chosen not to do that. that. But That's when fine. John is here, John is our... He's not our health agent. He's our health inspector. Correct. He would not have the power to open a business. 
to do an inspection. Uh, to do an inspection and report to us what mm -hmm. the results of it were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think your chair is more knowledgeable on okay. this than I am. Mm -hmm. Which he was not here to do. So right, we, he had, was not here. we had no one to, to do that. So our part-time inspector, you're saying, was not qualified to have addressed well, he, this? Well, he was not there. That's my point. Mm -hmm. So the question is, we have a competent inspector, which is what Laura's resume is. She's a competent inspector. Mm -hmm. Is the town not using Laura as an inspector? Well, John would not have the ability to open a business because mm -hmm. he is not entrusted with our power. Right. Mm -hmm. Only the person that we appoint yes. as the agent can do yes. that. Yes, he could come back to us and we could do it, but yes. he does not have the power. If he went and said, gee, mm -hmm. this is all cleaned up, mm -hmm. he could not do that, mm -hmm. as Laura could not do mm -hmm. yesterday. Right. And that's why I mm -hmm. feel it's imperative for us to have a person that mm -hmm. can do that. But it's imperative to have the right person. And I think we still have concerns about her ability to protect the public health in this town. And that's not been resolved. A person is not. Well, that was my question. Has that been resolved? No, I think we our concerns that we had a month and a half ago are are the same, and even getting more concerning as time goes by, with the lack of cooperation and lack of health reports being submitted. Um, there's not a concerted effort to protect the health of the town. There's other. There seems to be other more important factors in this whole scene. Okay, would other factors that are evident? Um, well, we have requested an investigation um, that, as far as I know, nothing has been done. Investigation? Of allegations in the public mm -hmm. health nurses emailed to us. Okay. That would resolve a lot of issues for when us. When you say the public health nurses, mm -hmm. that's the nurse that walked out? Unless you uh, want to recognize that, someone. That, that is the the, that is the crux of the matter. I believe it is, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So well we that. are, I, I feel, you know, really between a rock and a hard place. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, am not um, comfortable, you know, as Dan is asking us to do something given the missing information. And so I, you know, I do know that we brought up the idea of what can we do temporarily, and we were told we can't do anything temporarily. Okay. So well, what we should do is set up a schedule. Then we are we are responsible. Mm -hmm. So we should maybe set up a schedule where mm -hmm. one of us, well, we all know who is maybe mm -hmm. either on call or available. Okay. Um, Unless we choose to appoint somebody else as our health agent. We could do that. Do members of well, the health have the power to reopen a business? I believe, yes. Do they have the expertise at the training to do that? Uh, to, to know when a situation has really been rectified? I do not have that ability. Well, that's where the inspector would come in. I, I would well, yeah, because yeah. if, if the inspector is on site and the inspector can do an inspection and then advise us to open, I think that would be that. They're, they're, the inspectors are acting on our behalf as well. So. I, I actually Correct. agree with that because Nancy didn't know the difference between a raw sewer pipe break and, or backup and a overflow mm -hmm. toilet yesterday. So unless we're going to open this up. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Yes. No, I'm just, mm -hmm. one, of, one of us would have to make the decision. Mm -hmm. Now, I would think that we could bring along an inspector with us mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or have an inspection done and then we can go off that report. Or yes, yes. I, I would prefer to have an inspector with me to make that decision mm -hmm. because it would be fairly, it would be important mm -hmm. to get done fairly, fairly soon. Yes. yes. As soon as possible, to, once it was cleaned up to make sure that everything was fine. Mm -hmm. uh, so if one of, we should speak about our schedules while we don't have mm -hmm. a health agent, oh, well, especially mm -hmm. while Bob is not here. Or yes. maybe, maybe. Back. I'm not sure. Do we know when Bob's back? I believe it's Monday. I don't Monday. know that for sure. I think it's Monday. Look at this week. Okay. Well so the idea that um, that in, we have the option of going with an inspector or an inspector giving us the information, so we can have that when we go out on site. Well, that okay. makes does that make sense? Yes. It's oh. a yes. It's 
trying to kind yeah, of get through this. And what if the inspector is not available for some reason? Then what do you do? I don't know. What does the town normally do if we the inspector? What if the health, health agent, agent is what if the health agent is not around? Then, what well, then you have the inspector backup plan that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. But now we're talking about Plan C. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like there is a Plan C. Mm -hmm. So what happens when something goes south and mm -hmm. he's not around, and, right. and you have not appointed mm -hmm. the health agent? That's our that's our problem, Dan. Yes, it is. That's our problem, which is why we're hoping that the board of selectmen would be able to resolve this with us, because you do have some control of that. Well, I look forward to the meeting with the board of selectmen. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, can I ask as a courtesy that you, mm -hmm. someone, maybe retake this vote again on the appointment of Ms. Blasek? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm no, asking I, that I, that yeah. vote happens. It's going to be silence again. I can tell you. Well, I, I think it's clear that I. Let's get it on the record. I, I, I think it's clear that I am mm -hmm. uh, in favor of having our health agent. I mean, I'm in favor of having a health agent that is in the best interest of the town of Reading. I have no argument with that. I agree. So, uh, if I can make a motion to appoint Laura as our health agent. Motion on the floor. Any discussion? I believe we've discussed this in an executive session mm -hmm. that we cannot talk about here. Okay. Not, it was not, mm -hmm. motion is not seconded. No. Duly noted. I'm sorry, say good David. Duly noted. Mm -hmm. And we will we will discuss our schedules. We'll we'll mm -hmm. we can get back and forth as far as scheduling our time when we may be available and mm -hmm. uh, whatever Bob well, if Bob's back we, mm -hmm. we that helps us, but mm -hmm. maybe between John and Laura's time, mm -hmm. where we can... Uh, Is Laura doing inspections? Uh, yeah, I believe with, with the, with the, with, with a uh, Board of Health member, I believe we can call on you to she do an inspection. She won't answer that, so I think I need to be appointed in order to do an inspection. Is she doing inspections now? Inspection right up a sheet, can I? I would have to look into that. I'm not positive. Uh, but we do have an appoint an appointed inspector in John, mm -hmm. and we have Bob. Mm -hmm. Do we need to appoint Laura as an inspector, or is that something that the town actually changes her title to? Well, I believe the town has hired her mm -hmm. as as a health health uh, department employee. Mm -hmm. She cannot act on our behalf. That's she the cannot be a health agent. Must be appointed. But the right. hey cannot, agents do. I mean, uh, Steve used to do inspections. Yes. Well, actually, actually, Joni was not our health agent, but she did inspections. Right. Correct. And, but Steve was our agent, and he also did inspections. So if she was mm -hmm. hired mm -hmm. as an agent, I would assume that she can do inspections as well. I believe so, sure. Yeah, Steve did inspections, right? right. Mm -hmm. As you said, as Joni did. Mm -hmm. I don't so know. I don't know if Joan was appointed as an inspector. I don't. She was just hired. She wasn't. She was hired. But I mean, I see separate. You appointed to be an inspector. You were hired as an inspector. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, is that something that you'd be willing to do for us? You would not do inspections nope, for us. I'm as the health agent. You can vote me in as the health agent if you mm -hmm. wish. Okay. Or we can wait for mm -hmm. the selectman. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's excellent so that's, cooperation. Right. So that's up to the town because it's not a well, it's, it's, I'm no, still willing to I, cooperate. I, 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 for a job, I'm willing to mm -hmm. do. I understand. Mm -hmm. That is. Thank you. So I'd be curious because the town is paying Laura a salary, mm. and um, we don't know actually then if she's doing inspections because she doesn't want to answer that. I will have to defer to uh, Jean about that, okay. and the town, mm -hmm. the, the town management. Okay. Uh, any other questions about our health agent status? Pesticide, our pesticide regulations. You did get the communi communication from our town council regarding. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's kind of confusing. Yes. It is. Uh, mm -hmm. Which, I mean, I'm I'm a pretty pragmatic person. I I look I look mm -hmm. forward. I didn't look at that as a negative. I look mm -hmm. forward to how we can accomplish this. Mm -hmm. We all work. We've worked pretty hard in trying mm -hmm. to get these regulations. Uh, yes. About 18 for, the, for the benefit yeah. of the town, mm -hmm. yes, and mm -hmm. trying to massage it into mm -hmm. what the town council thought that was uh, 
a legitimate request. Mm -hmm. uh, evidently, all of the issues that we addressed, all but one, regarding the control of town land mm -hmm. uh, was, was the issue. Uh, I guess there could be a point, uh, or a, mm -hmm. a point that we can, we could declare these to be uh, in the public health and within our purview to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't. I don't necessarily. Would, I don't want to go that route. I would like. Right. I would like to. Just get spend done. a little bit more of our time communicating with the mm -hmm. selectmen mm -hmm. uh, about the benefits of what this would do. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, just to notify the public of what they should not yes. be doing because mm -hmm. of the public health issues of it, mm -hmm. for both, uh, for humans and and their pets, which. Right. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, I, I guess we, I'd like to defer maybe a little bit to Dan of how we could speak. Should we come uh, up for the Board of Selectmen? or should have an agenda item specifically for that. And uh, mm -hmm. I think the Board would be receptive to some creative solutions mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we could help with. Okay. Right. So I mean, we do have regulations, like I said, that we did work pretty hard at. Yes. That yeah. I think are, mm -hmm. might think would be acceptable mm -hmm. to pretty much everyone. And I, maybe we overstepped our bounds as far as town, town land authority. Because uh, I understand it, uh, he's, the council said you don't have the ability to prohibit, however you could work with the owning entity, which is I guess the board of selectmen. Correct. We own the tree lawns yes. to right. police our own property. It's right. unfortunate that he didn't figure that out for two years <laughs> after he spent all that. He's seen those regulations at yeah. least twice. I mean, I. I it was a it was a bummer basically that we were this yeah. close and then I mean we would have stopped working on them much earlier if we had known okay. we didn't have any. You know, but it was it was good work. I mean, I think mm -hmm. we did come up with good regulations. Right, and uh, hopefully they'll be useful. Well, I think your point. point is we could do that based on. Well, and that's what I I was just looking up as far as. I have it here. Okay. We uh, we actually can do it. Yeah. But in the service of the town and in collaboration, it yes. seems quite reasonable that mm -hmm. I don't think the selectmen would have any concerns about limiting the board. We're willing to take it up under discussion. Yeah. I don't think the board is aware of the details of what yeah. the mm -hmm. so that would have to be discussed. And yeah. mm -hmm. There should be some path forward on that. Yeah. I can't speak for the whole board, no, obviously, but, but uh, it seems but like a reasonable a reason. discussion to have. So it would seem... So we can yeah. move on to other yeah. bigger, yes. bigger issues. Yeah, because this is the... Um, Mass practice municipal law. It's 18A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 19. pretty much it's probably well. what you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Regulations may be mm -hmm. prospective in nature. That means boards may require precautions to avoid potential dangers mm -hmm. as well as to restrict conditions proven to be harmful. Right. So, I mean, I think we're in fairly stable grounds with that. Yes. No. Okay. And. I will I will speak with with Dan about trying to we'll get we'll get that on the agenda in the, in the near future. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, any other discussion? I I just had a, maybe a comment. I don't uh, as far as the last meetings. Uh, I know Beth brought up an issue about our concern for the opiate mm -hmm. problem in town. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm starting to look into, and I don't know if I get your opinions on this. Mm -hmm. I guess there are certain towns that do have Narcan available in a lot of mm -hmm. establishments. Uh, is that something that the board would like to maybe look into? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be willing mm -hmm. to to interview a lot of the probably night nighttime uh, restaurants to see mm -hmm. to Whether see not it would be to see if there's any interest uh, right interest yeah, in that. Sure. Uh, be very cautious when you're dealing with Narcan. Uh, from what I've heard through the police department. Uh, this is something that has to be administered by trained personnel. Correct. The recipient can mm -hmm. have very violent reactions. Correct. I'm not sure it's something an average restaurateur would want to necessarily. Well, that do. that would be part of my whole process. Would be like have an education, education night. An education yeah. thing. Yeah. It'd be better off having the EMS people bring it. You know? That would be great to have. Well, it, it, it yeah. is. It is. The, that's the ideal situation yeah. if an EMS does mm -hmm. uh, provide it. It's not like uh, a happy pen. 
you know, you're gonna, there's a lot more it's, serious it's, stuff. It, it, it is close, it is close, yeah. it, it, it is a close reversal to well, an EpiPen. It's, you can have a problem with that too, I guess. My uh, husband's entire um, office yeah. had to attend an in-service and that sort uh -huh. of implies it was the training. Right, uh, and, and well that's what I'm saying. Is yeah, we could do a training, training for restaurants. Uh, that may be a service that the mm -hmm. restaurants could provide for their for their clients. To see their, if well, we could maybe do a survey to see if yes, are they interested. Right, and before I, I would just mm -hmm. like to get an interest in that before we even put the time back. in to maybe survey restaurant owners. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Just to find Certain out what the establishments the, that have late the school, hours. The schools must have, the school and nurse must have knock in. Ooh, uh, that's a good that's question. That's a good question. Uh, I just would assume that the high school nurse would have that. Well, I would, I would, I would, the high school and middle school. I would think yeah. that would be available. But, but I think we should find out. Right. Okay, school nurse and uh, high school and middle, middle school. Uh, but you're right, Dan. It, it, yeah. That does not a, that that's not something that you would give inadvertently. You'd have to know. Not only that, but I, I heard about a case where uh, the heroin the person took was so laced with fentanyl that the EMS responders almost were affected. It's, okay. like, it's like you cut someone open and took cyanide. You know, they almost no. It does ha that yeah, does happen. It, you can uh, very, for anyone very can. Yeah, there were three nurses that were hospitalized, I think, last uh, week. I think that was it. Yeah. What did they touch, a fentanyl patch? Or uh, it was, was an overdose, uh, mm -hmm. and when they were cleaning up the room, they yeah. uh, came in contact with the um, fentanyl. With what? It, how? Um, because the, the residue can, can stay wow. on um, wow. bedding or clothing or... Well, yeah, it will get absorbed through skin. Right, right, the fentanyl yeah. patch, yeah. Right. So there's a precaution. Um, that people should have, but mm -hmm. it's also something, yes, family members have it, uh, it's made available to them. Right, yeah. Because a lot yeah. of the kids are, seem to be dying at home, or a fair number of them. Uh, yeah. I've heard. But I think it's the point of let's see if there's something that mm -hmm. we could take an initiative of, sure. even if it's education. And, and I would like to work with our CASA maybe, to speak mm -hmm. with them too, to find out yeah. if they're, I don't know if they're already got some sort of a program that they're involved in with that. Uh, should, I haven't heard of it. We should meet but, with them, I think it's yeah, a board, yeah. and, and just talk about what what they what challenges they face okay. right mm -hmm. what they're working on if we can right. how we can help them right. mm -hmm. basically um, because they've done a lot and they have a lot of experience so and a lot of information. my guess is that they won't need me again until September because I haven't gotten any notices of board meetings okay through the summer so I don't know if they're okay. how big is their board um, oh, there's maybe 15 people yeah, on the board. Yeah. Around it. They meet in the but I, I, station. Goes I could speak with around. Erica, too. Erica. McNamara. She yeah. came and spoke to us a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. About about a different issue. but mm -hmm. um, I mean, even if she mm -hmm. came to talk to us and just filled us in on okay. what they're doing and mm -hmm. what we can do. Okay, maybe she, maybe she can, can come to one of our Yeah, just as a start. Put the agenda for Yeah, that would be great. She was great. I mean, very mm -hmm. informative and... Um, Okay, well, I'll give that. We can give that a shot, and at least I'll investigate to see if there's yeah. anything, anything. Is there anything else we could look into in the meantime? I mean, I'm sort of keeping my eyes open for articles and stuff. But well, you know, I think I had sent you the link of the website that I wanted to see if we couldn't add a few more of those resources uh, on our mm -hmm, own, mm -hmm. um, just to make it a little bit more user. -friendly. Yeah, the, was it the Marblehead Marble website? Yeah. And you said that there was also a website for the Narcan, which I didn't, I didn't see. Uh, um, yeah, but, that one I will look. Okay. Uh, and again, that was but, kind of giving you know directions. But I think we might, mm -hmm. we have to decide whether or not we want to do that. Maybe we could link that with mm -hmm. EMS and restaurant owners and see if we go in that direction. Mm -hmm. Uh, one other thing, especially in the mm -hmm. in view of what's happened yesterday, I think mm -hmm. this is the second this is the second time since Bob Bracey has been here that we've mm -hmm. had a sewer backup. Mm -hmm. uh, is there something that we can do to prevent that from happening? Is there some sort of a maintenance program? I know we've spoken about rodent maintenance right. programs. Is there some sort of a maintenance program we can institute mm -hmm. for? Mm -hmm. uh, for the waste know, pipes. Right, and I don't know if any of that's related. They're not doing any pipe work on Main Street um, in that area. Uh, not that I'm aware of. So I can't, I, I mean, I'm just, we're trying to rule out is that related to anything? The, the town is responsible for 
sewer and water connections up to the building, uh -huh. uh, like a lot of other towns, which make the owner responsible out to the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, inside the building, it's the purview of the owner. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. And I mean, I, mm -hmm. I don't know if that was, uh, I, I imagine it's from the town's, is mm -hmm. it, since it backed up more than one, was there more than one sewer, one uh, pipe that backed up, or was it just mm -hmm. one main pipe? He said that in the kitchen, he said it was a toilet, and in the kitchen there are two uh, sewer drainage, and that they had no way of knowing which one was affected, so they had both cleaned. Okay. Did anybody talk to DPW? It wasn't their time. Did the sewer and water people, did they, uh, were they told about this? I don't know. This is the, just the information it, I can It's not the off about. chance there was something no. from the town end. That I think coincidentally, yeah. um, today there was a lot of activity out on um, mm -hmm. Woman Street, mm -hmm. okay. and they were actually um, mm -hmm. doing that testing where they um, run yeah, a line. They're down doing that the all camera. up and down, right. Mm -hmm. so, that I guess had already been scheduled, and that's these on the two water. things were just coincidentally to do that. Uh, yeah, so that was sure. that was happening today that they were doing okay. that right. whatever call inspections of the okay. the sewer lines there. Because okay. I think years ago that we did have an issue where there was a grease backup. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Well, just like any homeowner can have that right. in terms of their main pipe. Yeah. And that is a particularly, I, I mean, if you're thinking about how many restaurants are right there. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's Heavy use. Well, that's what I'm, my, part of my point is, 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 is that something that is being done? I'm, I'd have to, we have to, I'd check, have to, to check that okay. in to find out. The, like I said, this is the second time since Bob's been here. So in six mm -hmm. months now, we've had two backups, and I think it was mm -hmm. the same building. Was it not uh, that, that building that the backup was? I think so. I think it was. I think it was, too. I think it was the Chinese place, I feel like. That was there. Um, I'd have to speak with Bob. I'd have to look at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any other ideas of what mm -hmm. to maybe look at or any suggestions? Oh, the Gloucester, the town, town of Gloucester, too. With, um, uh, oh, mm -hmm. getting back to the opioid thing. Mm -hmm. um, they have an interesting program up there that we should. I mean, that would be a police thing, but they have, when they have people, I, I don't know the specifics, but if mm -hmm. there's a um, drug issue, they, instead of criminalizing mm -hmm. it and arresting them, they try to get them mental health. And it's been pretty mm -hmm. effective, apparently. Well, even in Andover, they have a oh. um, social worker that's employed by the police department. Oh. They're a police department employee, and they actually go out on most of those. Uh -huh. um, and it's just more, it actually frees up the police officers from actually doing a lot of the really mm -hmm. social service issues. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Right, so it would help, it would take off some of the pressure for the police. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well actually, the, one of the meetings I went in Medford with our CASA, with Merica, uh, they did in, I believe it was the Medford police had a social worker riding with them in the, in the, in the car. Employed by the police. No, that's what I'm saying, that's what Andover yeah. does yeah. too. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I've met with both of them. Um, mm -hmm. And they gave a presentation, and they they literally work mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so cases the together. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. They work it all together. Because Eric, uh, Eric is a social worker, isn't she? I don't know what she is. What her background is? I'm not, yeah. not sure. Yeah, yeah, but I, I don't know what her. Mm -hmm. She would be part of that. Uh, all right. Anything? I anything else uh, to bring up? So. Um, Looking forward, would you um, reach out to Erica and invite her, mm -hmm. and we can put her on the agenda based on her availability for mm -hmm. one of the fall. Yeah, uh, that, the that I'll, I will check oh. in with her and see okay. if she could do that. Sure. Okay. Uh, and then um, I'll gladly contact Maureen. Do you want one of us to reach out um, to the school nurse, or how, you know, do you want to divvy up some of this? What would you like? As far as if whether they they're, their actually, availability in the schools, if right. they do not, I can. can. Okay, I can work call. Okay, you can call. Yeah, just so we we have some information in terms mm -hmm. of what uh, other departments are doing, so we mm -hmm. don't duplicate things. Okay. So middle school and high school. Mm -hmm. Mm. Not elementary. Not that bad yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, and as far as dates for next month, uh, is the third Wednesday, does that work? What's the date I, on that? No, my, the date? My, 
I uh, didn't actually I, bring my book. I yeah, my, I, my battery was dead and I had to recharge. I think I might be out of time. Give me a sec. Do you have one? I have a I know the last week in September I will not be available. Um, the third week? The third. Five, twelve. That's the twentieth of September, third Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday, twentieth. Um, I will be here. No, I'll away the following day. Nine twenty. Mm -hmm. Does that work for you? Uh, it I, should. I, I can't I've come that night. That's my anniversary. Ooh. <laughs> Thirty-one. Um, can we do it? We don't want to do it Tuesday. I, I mean, I guess I could. We're going away the next day, so. Can you get you out of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. We'll go out early. Yeah, never mind. That's been done it already. Enough Could I ask if uh, your calendar is clear the night of August 29th? That's our, we have a scheduled meeting that evening. What, what day of the week is that? That's a Tuesday. Is that next Tuesday? No, it's a week from Tuesday. I don't have a clue. But, um, yeah, August 29th. Keep that date open if yeah, you could. Yeah, if I can. Yeah. Good. August, August 29th. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm open. Okay. And you, you'll need to post probably for that. So that is going to be posted. We'll do a joint. Is that how it goes? A joint? Uh, something like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you'll get back to us and then we have to post I'll it? I'll get, yes. Okay. Uh, is there a chance that that would be executive session? Possibly. That, we have to work that out. Did you say 29? 29th. 29th of August. That's we have to work Tuesday. out proper scope and reason for it. Okay. And then um, the other one was the 20th. Mm -hmm. Right, September. September 20th. Yep. Be sure, Beth. Now I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get in trouble. It's all right. Mm -hmm. I can handle he, it. I was just saying, oh, oh, he won't oh. be home that early. No, he doesn't get home that early. That early. No. Um, maybe they'll maybe step bird by then. Poor bird. Mm -hmm. All right. You're being recorded. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Huh. All, right, All right. So we'll try to get Erica in that on the twentieth. I'll call the nurses. We can have back to him. Yep. Okay. And those, or we can just go mm -hmm. try those tobacco products out and see what we think. Yeah, I'll, I'll find out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any other issues to be brought up? Meeting is adjourned at 6.35. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Dan. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thanks.